Today I'm going to show you how to recognize your ego with a little help from the fan favorite character George Costanza from the TV series Seinfeld. So if you're ready for a little 90s flashback, let's get started. following clip, we're going to watch an illustration of the ego in action in order to help us better learn to recognize its self-destructive tendencies and the huge impact it has in our lives. To provide a quick bit of context, we find the character of George Costanza sitting alone in his favorite diner drinking a cup of coffee. Rather than enjoy his day, George is internally obsessing over an insult someone made about him the day prior at work as he devoured a platter of shrimp that was intended to be shared with the entire group. Short in stature, a co-worker referred to George as a shrimp, and this is where we presently find him. Here you are, one shrimp salad. Plenty of shrimp. I should stop running out of shrimp. <laughs> hey, George. The ocean called. They're running out of shrimp. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, the jerk store called. They're running out of you. <laughs> Busts my chops. Congratulations, oh, George. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Number one. Great. <laughs> I am nothing. Anything else? No, thanks. Hey, you're still bald. <laughs> Anything else? No, oh, thanks. <laughs> As can be seen via this illustration, the ego has its own agenda, and it does not care about what is in our best interests. George could have just as easily been sitting in his favorite diner feeling happy, enjoying his day, his meal, and the company of those around him. Nothing negative was happening to George and yet he was feeling it negative inside because of his ego. Or more specifically, because he chose to agree or align with his egoic thoughts. Here's the funny thing about the ego. It's up to the user whether you wish to take offense or whether you wish to feel pain. In this case, George's ego goes him into feeling slighted or somehow reduced because of the insult George's co-worker made about his being a shrimp. However, if we step back and examine the situation, in actuality, it is the ego that is causing George's pain in this moment. Everything around George is calm and relaxed in his exterior environment. His co-worker is not there. It is only his internal thoughts that are troubled or negative in nature. The more we listen to the ego, the more often these types of scenarios become our experience. Poor George listens to his ego so regularly that he no longer recognizes that soft, still inner voice. Over time, if we continue aligning with the ego, Eventually, we lose our connection with our authentic self altogether. Life becomes nothing more than a series of emotional reactions, frustrations, and unfortunately, disappointments. Now, the good news here is that by learning to recognize your ego, courtesy of crazy George Costanza, you can choose to avoid unnecessary pain and suffering. Begin observing your mind as you go forward, and watch how often the ego's agenda does not serve you or your best interests. Observe how often the ego will encourage you to argue, to become angry, to become offended. 
and how infrequently it guides you to using processes such as understanding, insight, or truth. If you feel that this video contained value, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe as well in order to receive future content. Also, if you'd like more information on the ego and guidance on how to best approach this touchy topic, be sure to click the link I've posted at the end of this video entitled, What is the Ego? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Let go of your ego and you'll discover that you can become far, far happier. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.